These here are microscopic uh, nematode worms. So these are tiny worms. I put them under the microscope and today we're going to have a closer look at them and I think I can tell you quite a few interesting facts about them. Hi, hello and welcome, Microbe Hunter here. Well, those worms are wiggling around uh, on my microscope slide belong to an extremely large and diverse group of animals. Some people actually say it's actually one of the largest uh, groups of animals that there is and the Nathan Cobb, um, who is uh, considered to be the the father of nematology, the father of the study of those worms. Uh, he once said that if you were to remove everything from planet Earth except those worms, then you're still able to see um, yeah, all of the continents and where there was oceans and everything you could still see because uh, those nematode worms um, can be found pretty much in every place um, of the Earth. Well, the worms that you see here, these are so-called vinegar eels. They are completely harmless. Um, and uh, I've grown them in a glass jar with some vinegar and some sugar. Um, actually, they are uh, sold as fish food and some people who have a home aquarium, uh, they like uh, to grow them for that reason. Um, I like uh, to grow them to put them under the microscope. Now, what role do those uh, worms actually play in nature? Well, they are considered to be important decomposers. What they do is, is they eat organic material, for example, bacteria, and they do have a digestive system, so they do have a mouth, uh, and uh, then all of the food is being digested. Um, yeah, they also have a different and a variety of different ways of reproducing. There is, of course, uh, the possibility um, of sexual reproduction. So you have male and female worms, uh, but uh, some of them are also able to reproduce asexually, um, out of even out of unfertilized eggs. So you see that uh, these worms are able to reproduce, uh, therefore, quite rapidly, um, and uh, therefore they're able to reach uh, quite high densities. Now, um, back in the year 2009, um, yeah, this some, uh, some of these worms actually made uh, their way into the media because in a sewer in North Carolina in the United States, they found an unknown form of life and they call it, some newspapers call it an alien form of life and indeed um, the videos of this were quite strange looking. There was basically a blob of slime which was pulsating and uh, for copyright reasons I'm not able to show you this clip but I did put a uh, link to the YouTube video in the description. Millions of people watched it and, and because they didn't know or initially they didn't know what it is, they said it must be some kind of an extraterrestrial, some kind of an alien life form. Well, scientists very soon discovered that this actually, these are warm colonies which started to pulsate and to move uh, in the camera light here. So you see that uh, those uh, worms, uh, yeah, when seen in a colony, they can look uh, quite a little bit, uh, quite a little bit different here. Now, why do they move around and wiggle so much? Well, I think uh, one of the reasons is, is that they need a lot of oxygen. So if you keep those worms in a liquid medium, they will always try to swim to the top of the glass jar because this is where most of the oxygen is. And I think this is one of the reasons and especially when they're growing also in a colony, millions of these worms together, then I can imagine that uh, the movement also makes sure that the oxygen and nutrients are able to be uh, uh, able to be mixed in into the colony so that even the worms in the middle of the colony um, are able to get enough oxygen and enough food. Well, yeah, I I can understand that not everyone might like uh, these uh, worms. Uh, yeah, but still, I consider them very fascinating. I wish you all the best. Happy microbe hunting. As always, see you around next time. Bye-bye.